Joining us in the studio now is David Whitney with Symantec, and next to David, Connie Clark of Microsoft. Gary? Stuart, I think we can all kind of remember the days in which we uh, produced slides for presentations. Not that long ago. Yeah, fifty, hundred dollars per slide. And, yeah, yeah. And sometimes the whole presentation would cost uh, maybe two, three thousand mm dollars. -hmm. And now we can get a whole computer system for the, same, for the price. same price. For the same price. Connie, what, uh, what is your view about how presentation graphics are being used nowadays? Who uses them and so forth? Well, we see a lot of business people using them, doing uh, departmental meetings, doing uh, project meetings. And it's also used quite a bit for doing training uh, for development of, of people, both in companies and for training on different products. And you see it also, that, can you do the entire presentation all the way down to producing the slides and so forth on the desktop? Absolutely. You get everything from speaker's notes to handouts for your audience to 35 millimeter slides or overheads, any mm -hmm. type of output that you really need. Can you tell us a little bit about the Microsoft product? Uh, yes, Microsoft PowerPoint is was actually the very first product created specifically for doing desktop presentations. Um, it's still the best-selling package today, and, and we think it's really a, a very fast and easy way to create any type of materials, whether it's overhead, 35-millimeter uh, mm -hmm. slides, or, or even flip charts for perhaps a one-on-one -on -one sales meeting. How, how would the approach of PowerPoint differ from, say, what we just saw with more two? PowerPoint works more on a storyboard type of feature where you really deal with all of your slides together and get a very visual p appearance of it uh -huh. versus working from an outline format. Okay. Well, well, show us PowerPoint, yeah. would you? Okay. Let me bring it up here. And you tell us what you're doing as you do it here so you don't leave us in the Okay. Dark. All I'm doing here is actually starting up some files. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and bring these up. I'm opening a presentation that was actually start, it started in black and white, so this might be something you'd use for doing black and white overheads. Um, if we go to our slide sorter, you'll see what I mean by getting a vis very visual appearance of your presentation. You okay. see all of the More slides of at one time. Point, yeah. Right. Now, let's say that we want to reorganize this presentation. I can very simply just take a slide there and drag it to where I want it to be mm -hmm. in my presentation. Very easy to reorganize it. And you'll notice, too, if we go and take a look at a slide here, we have a very consistent look throughout the presentation. This is done through a slide master that we have. Now, one common thing that we see done in presentations is that people who are doing um, presentations have done a lot of presentations in the past. They have libraries of slides that they've used, at least in the old technology. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, they'd have libraries <coughs> of PowerPoint presentations. So let's go ahead and open up another presentation that perhaps I had created before, or maybe this is from the finance department. Uh -huh. If we copy this, if we open this up, I can simply select the slides by just dragging around those, copy them onto the clipboard, go back to my existing presentation, select where I want those to be, and paste those in. Mm -hmm. Very quickly, very easy, they picked up the slide masters, so they actually they don't look like they came from another presentation. Yeah. We also have a, a very powerful way of working with color called color schemes. The Mac has 16.8 million colors to work with. It's a little overwhelming for a business person to deal with. So we came up with this concept of color schemes. You pick a background color. So for example, let's go to our RV2 here. Then go ahead and pick a foreground color. Or actually, a number of foreground colors are suggested for you. Mm -hmm. Once you pick the foreground, a number of accent colors are suggested for you. So we simply select the color scheme we want, apply it to our slides. And my entire presentation has now been updated. Uh-huh, that's great. Now, uh, Connie, if you were to, to make a slide out of this, a um, uh, high-resolution slide, what would mm -hmm. that cost to, to do? I mean, is there a special device you'd be using? Or, a we, or would you use a service bureau? We, we, have, we actually ship a driver for Genographics, which is the top service bureau in the United States, uh -huh. in the box. So all you do is simply go like you would, we're going to print a presentation. It creates a file for you, and then you can send that over the modem to Genographics, uh -huh. and then you get your slides back the next day. And it's about $11 a slide, depending on what type of a turnaround yeah. you need.